This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video, we'll be seeing how you can add a repeat order or reorder option onto your WooCommerce store. So for your customers, when a product is uh, over or uh, you are selling something that requires uh, repeated orders in a, a certain amount of time, you can use this button uh, to create an easy access for your uh, customers. So we have already seen how you can add a cancel request if our order is placed. So we're going to add how you can add a repeat order when once the order is fulfilled. So for that, we're going to install a plugin and before we get to the video, don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on WordPress and WooCommerce every now and then to get your website performance up and top. So we're in the dashboard and we're going to go to the plugin section and install a plugin. So I'm going to go to plugins and adding new. Here I'm going to search for repeat order. On the search result, you will be able to see the repeat order for WooCommerce plugin available. So we're going to go uh, go with this plugin, which is which has very simple uh, objective of cancel uh, repeating the order. So I'm going to install this. So if you want to all in all package, you can install this plugin. So I'm going I'm preferring this plugin for this particular purpose, and I'm going to activate this. So the plugin is activated and this has very basic settings. So we're going to go to the settings part. Uh, uh, otherwise, you can go to the WooCommerce and settings and see a repeat order option right here. So this has basically a show link on the order list. And uh, if you check this out, there will be the order uh, link in the order list if uh, that will be visible. So if you disable it, there won't be any uh, thing. So uh, if you want to create an order note uh, for the specific uh, order, then you can add a order note as well. And uh, this one is for this uh, setting is for when the customers uh, when you when you re, uh, uninstall the plugin and if you reinstall it, how you want uh, to reactivate or the order again things or not. So for that, uh, you can check this out and also you can also show an on notice in the cart after the reorder. So uh, if you want to add any note, you can add that. Once that is done, you can just save the settings and this are the simple settings that you need uh, for this plugin. So uh, we are going back to our website and we are just going to refresh this. And here you will be able to see the order again uh, option that's available. So uh, for this plug for this order, particular order 1390, you can see that the order is completed. Hence, there is an order again option. So for the orders that are processing, there won't be any. So I'm going to click on to the order again right here. And the order is uh, already there in the plugin uh, in the cart and all the product that you have ordered previously will be available right here. And uh, there is an order note uh, so that I have added. So if you want to add any other uh, note, you can also add that. So, and you can uh, and the customers can proudly go and proceed to checkout and this will again be seen in the order section. So I have reordered the product and here you will be able to see the new order that I've just placed. So when I go back to my website and here you will be able to see this is the order that I've just placed right now. And here you will be see there is an original order option. So you can see which are the order that uh, has the original order that you have placed previously. So uh, that can also be seen right here so that if you uh, if there is a regular customer, you can keep track of those. So that's how you can add a repeat order plugin onto your uh, WooCommerce store. So this is a very simple basic plugin with very few steps and you can implement that in your website. So I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in another video. Bye.